Howdy, y'all! Hello, everyone! It is Wednesday, February 5th, in the year of our Lord, 2014. How are all y'all doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. It's Yeehaw Western Wednesday. It's Happy Hump Day! Hump Day! Oh, yeah! Alrighty! Well, 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 two more days to friggin' a Friday. That's what I'm talking about. And today's unofficial sponsor of our show is my good friend Rob Johnson and his wonderful business, Computune. Because he's a walking brain when it comes to computers. Actually, he's a walking brain when life general. But, Rob, out of taunt, Massachusetts, the greatest state in the nation. Well, Massachusetts, they wouldn't be in America, period. Dot in the freaking story. If you got computer issues, he'll take care of them. Trust me, he's helped me out a few times. And believe me, I got the luck of a murder victim on electronic devices, okay? Well, folks, to Rob Johnson's brother, always a pleasure honoring you on my show because you're a damn good man and you're a wonderful better half step, a total sweetheart of a lady. Definitely the better half, too. Definitely a lot harder than you, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, anyway, um, folks, we got a lot of birthdays to get to, and by golly, before we do that, I am parched, really parched, just guts done with a big-ass bowl of chili. Mm-mm-mm. Bears world-famous chili. Amazing stuff. Oh, yeah, so good old Yeehaw Western Wednesday country-style beer consumption apparatus. As we bust out a new one on Beer and Song of the Day, I have yet to drink this here beer. Never seen it before until I bought it Saturday. Oh, I know this brewery well. Victory Brewing Company, Downington, Pennsylvania. And this stuff is winter cheers. And on a cold-ass night tonight down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma, where it's 20 degrees right now, wind chill zero, high temperature today was 22 degrees. I know, Texas. Go figure, right? Mm. But anyway, 6.7%, definitely above strength and average. In, in uh, average and strength. <laughs> Dyslexic on the speed, speaking, you know. Hey, long day. 12 hours worth. I'm wicked tired. Beat. But hey, it's better to have a job than to be unemployed, you know. I'm just saying. Proud of opening up brass proper technique. Oh, and a good pop. That's what I'm talking about. 45 to grand right in the big substance apparatus right over keyboard. So it's that damn good. Haven't spilled a drop yet. Never have, never will. Look at that. Good weed ale right here. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to drink this one. I hope it's good. I love my wheat beers, so this ought to be a good one. Ought to be a good one. Cheers to best all of you, Prost. They say in Germany, goodbye as they say in Japan. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, this is good. Big A on this here beer. A as in awesome. Wicked awesome. Oh, boy. You can taste a little bit of strength in there, but it's not overpowering. And Oh, that wheat flavor. Amazing. It's like taking a German Hefeweizen and adding a little bit of oomph to it, you know? That's what I'm saying. All right. Well, we got a lot of birthdays. Let's get cracking. And right off the bat, my man, Anthony Louder. Louder. L O W T H E R. I never knew if it's louder or loather. Loather. Hey. Loather. Hey, if you load something, so be it. I think it's a cool name. Anthony Loather. He's a Mafia Wars man. Always helped me out in the Mafia Wars every day. In fact, he just helped me out on something else that I posted. Anthony, awesome guy. Awesome Mafia Wars player. Awesome friend. Brother, happy birthday to you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. And by golly, celebrate while well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. Next on the list, my man Andrew Israel. A comical nav wizard I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Western Louisiana. And my man Andrew, a great man indeed, a great professional young man, hard-working young man, awesome family man, awesome guy, brother. We need more like you in the world. Be for be fruitful and multiply. Have a litter of kids, will you? Yeah, I know you're still a young guy, but by golly. Be fruitful and multiply. Have a litter of kids. It's good advice. I want good people breeding, not bad people, all right? Stupid people need to stop breeding now! But people like you, Andrew, by golly. Happy birthday, brother. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. And celebrate well and enjoy. Next on the list. Ah, she's celebrating a milestone birthday. The perfect age, by golly. Because now she can rent a car from the airport. Her insurance goes down. She can already drink adult beverages. And I know her from jolly old England. 
the better half of my good buddy, fellow GCS Posse member, Garrett Jackson. We're talking about you, Jen Jackson. Jen, happy birthday to you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I haven't heard from you in a while. So draw me a line. Let me know how life's treating you and hope you're doing well. I definitely miss you guys. The Jackson family, absolutely awesome. And uh, remember the day the two of you got married. It's already been a number of years now. Seems like yesterday. Oh, where does the time go? The older you get, the faster the time goes. I mean, hell, I'm 40 years old. And hey, <clears throat> squeeze me. I'd rather be over the hill than under the hill. And besides, I'm not even at the top of the hill yet, so there. But Jen, you're, you're not even halfway up the hill yet. You're still a kid, practically. And Jen, hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. Next on the list. My man, Bob Kopecky. Now, here's a badass crew dog. Great leader of men, women, and it's I know from jolly old England. And like me, Bob, I know you're a big beer connoisseur. We love our good Michael Brews. Awesome stuff. And you're an awesome guy. Miss working with you big time. And brother, hope you're doing well. And hey, if you've never had this one yet, Bob, seriously, man, this is some good stuff right here. Victory Winter Cheers. Man, especially in a cold night like tonight. Mmm. Of course, a dark beer works great for cold nights, but hey, this, this one works pretty well, too. So, Bob, cheers and beers to you. Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy, and hope you enjoy the show. Next on the list, a fellow Masonic brother, a great man indeed. This guy is absolutely méchant genial. That's French for wicked awesome. Eh? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Canada, indeed. you got to love our Canadian neighbors up north, you know. Well, Steve Gaudu, my man, the pride of Falmouth, Massachusetts, and the pride of Marine Lodge. That's right. Ancient, free, and accepted Masons. Proud to be a Mason as well. He's a, he's a master of the Lodge, former master of the Lodge, past master of the Lodge. My brother took over for him, and wow. They, you talk about following a legend. My brother definitely did, and now, <laughs> Yeah, my brother's something else. And Steve, you're definitely something else. You're an awesome guy. And brother, hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. And an extra cheers to my fellow Masonic brethren, Marine Lodge, Falmouth, Massachusetts. Chatted, 1798. Still going strong, baby. All right, next on the list. Here's a lovely sweetheart of a lady I know from down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Northern Mexico. And you know, she used to be a dental assistant. And she said, you know what the hell with that? I'm changing jobs. I'm going to be in, involved. I want to work with all you folks that work hard doing what you do. And by golly, she oversees all the job records, training, and stuff like that, making sure that everybody's properly trained. Kyrie Karan, a real sweet hire lady, always positive, cheerful. Positively motivated. Kyrie, where do we find more people like you? You're an amazing friend, an amazing lady, an amazing mommy, and absolutely beautiful, too. I mean, come on. you got it all going for you. We need more like you in the world. Absolutely. And Kyrie, definitely an honor and a privilege to call you a friend. And by golly, happy birthday to you. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and bears to you. Next on the list, ah, the lovely Trisha Lacey. Now, here's a really sweet, hot, sweet, gorgeous lady. Finer than a new set of snow tires, no doubt about that. 29, looking wicked fine, and oh my good golly gee. Living in North Carolina, and you know, it's funny because Trisha, I haven't met you in person, but I feel like I've known you for a lifetime. Amazing. It's amazing how that happens. Remember, folks. A stranger is a friend you haven't met yet, okay? Remember that. All right, there you go. And uh, Trisha, you're definitely one of those and a real sweetheart. And by golly, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. And I know you're going to be watching. That's right. All right, next on the list, a very recent addition to my Mafia Wars crew, my man Dean Hetman. Dean, what's going on there, big man? How you doing? Happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. Haven't heard from you yet, but hey, glad to have you as a new addition to the Mafia Wars family. Hey, it's all about whacking schmucks and schmuckettes, you know. Get off of work. Great way to end. 
to get rid of some pent up frustration, you go ice a few fools. Lots of fun. Hey, it's called a game. See, well, we're not icing fools for real, you know. It's all a good fun. But anyway, Dean, happy birthday, my friend. Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. Next on the list. Ah, the amazing and lovely Ronisha Williams. I know her from jolly old England. What she does is she is involved in making sure we get all of our job supplies. Yeah, supply legend she is. She's living in Okinawa, Japan with our badass male admin, Big McLodge, huge Justin Dimmitt. Look him up sometime there, Ronisha. Ronisha, stunningly gorgeous, total sweetheart, awesome mommy. And she's so cool. Three years ago, remember? Remember this, Renisha? Remember we were in Bible camp together? We found God, learned lots of scripture. And oh, yes. Oh, yes, we did learn about adult beverages, too, you know. Well, Renisha, Michonne Genial, you are wicked awesome. That's right. French for wicked awesome. And Renisha, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. Next on the list. Abby Hayden. Abby, a wonderful lady that I don't even know in person yet, but by golly, she is absolutely phenomenal. Know her through the Dimmit family. That's right, those amazing Dimmits. Are they absolutely wicked awesome or what? My male admin, Big McLeod, huge Justin Dimmit, and his family, his better half, Robin. <whistles> Damn, Justin, I don't know how you got her. God bless you, brother. God bless you. And now, uh, Abby, I know through them. I have yet to meet you in person, Abby, but always great hearing from you. Always great chatting with you. And hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And happy birthday. Cheers and beers to you. <coughs> Yeehaw. Squeeze me. Ah, next on the list. My man, Lee Youngie. Here's a badass crew dog I know from jolly old England. And by golly, Lee is another one that we went to Bible. Now, actually, Lee, you went to Bible camp after I did. You know, I came back and you're like, hey, Lee needs some good churching up. We all need churching up. Amen to that. Hallelujah. Well, Lee, brother, miss working with you. And brother, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Lee, youngie. A legend of a man and a badass crew dog indeed and a happy birthday. Brother, hope you party hard and enjoy celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. Cheers and beers to you. And his final birthday for the day goes to a lovely sweetheart of a lady that I haven't even met yet in person that I'm aware of. But she is the... Now, are you the lesser or better half of my good friend and total sweetheart? Badass crew dog that I know down here in Yeehaw, Texas. Hey, Texas this is like a whole other country. Well, good. You can become your own damn country if you want. Hey, in these days, it may not be a bad idea. Just saying. Well, you know, Tia Meredith, who you just had a birthday five days ago. And I know you were partying it hard and enjoying it. Well, your good friend and your girlfriend and your sweetheart lady your lesser or better half, I ain't figured that one out yet, but by golly, you are equally wicked awesome. From what I gather, Lucinda Gonzalez, a wonderful lady indeed, and absolutely beautiful, as are you, Tia. And happy birthday to you, Lucinda. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Hope you party hard and enjoy it. Hey, Tia, you take care of your lady now, huh? I'll take care of mine later. Yeah! Yeehaw! Happy birthday. Hope you enjoy the show. All right. Well, hot diggity dog damn, you know. Let me give a quick shout out to my man. He just added me as a friend on the Facebook. Thank you for doing that. He works on weapons for a living. He works down here in Yeehaw, Texas. My man, Mike Kerber. Mike, what up, brother? Weapons in the house. Oh, hell yeah. Mike, you're a great man, a great professional man, and a hard-working man. Hardest working man in show business. Hey, one of them. No doubt about that. Freaking phenomenal guy. We need more like you in the world. And Mike, I hope you enjoy the show. Just wanted to give you a little random shout-out and say, Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, Canada, indeed. All right. 
So we had a trivia question, and sadly nobody even tried to answer it. Oh, our lovely, gorgeous lady admin came up with a phenomenal question. And she is our country and western music expert, and our hunks expert, because she loves the men. Something that, you know, Big McLeod, Huge, and I don't go for. We don't go for the dudes personally, but hey, if you do, nothing wrong with that. It's all about love, folks. It's all about love that makes you happy. Take it from the love, doctor. If the couple is strong, that is awesome. But anyway, what country legend made his first national TV appearance in the premiere episode of Hee Haw, June 15th, 1969? And I did not know this one. And this is pretty impressive, folks. If you think about it, it is Black History Month, you know. I don't call it African American History Month because, hey, our Canadian friends... We got us black people in Canada. You can't call them African American. Maybe they're African Canadian, eh? You know that ain't right. Or what if they're um, if they got African heritage and they're from jolly old England or Japan or something, you know? Don't just limit uh, Black History Month to just American good black folks, you know? And racism—that's just plain dumb. I celebrate history of all races every day. That's what I do. That's what love, Dr. Doug. I love everybody. We are all equally worthwhile. Here, you are all equally worthless. Hey, if you want to go with that, too, that's, that's your prerogative. But anyway, <coughs> squeeze me. Um, so, this man, this was huge. Because if you think about the 60s and civil rights and all that, and to have a black country singer, wow, that's jaw-dropping. Even nowadays, it's still pretty surprising to see a black country singer. Let's be honest. You don't see many, you know? It's just the nature of the beast, you know? You don't see a lot of white rappers. You got some of them. Why does it work that way? I don't know. But, hey, I'm a white man, and I love blues, rhythm and blues, gospel, rockabilly, and doo-wop, all right? Predominantly black music. I don't care. I go for the sound, and if it sounds good, the love doctor's listening, baby. Well, Charlie Pride. Charlie Pride, African American yeehaw country singer. And wow, you talk about a man that probably went through some hard times. You know, you're talking predominantly in the South, black man. Mm. And there's still racism out there. That just makes no damn sense. That's dumb. Just plain dumb. Well, Charlie Pride was our answer. Sadly, nobody went for it. And, you know, take a stab at it. God, it's coward, y'all. Anyway. Speaking of Charlie Pride, how about we bring him out as our hunk of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. I think it's the right thing to do. Charlie Pride, a handsome man indeed. He's 76 years old now, still going strong. And you know what's even cooler than that? I've got some Charlie Pride music. Thank you to my lovely lady admin, Gidget. Kelly Floyd, you're a real sweetheart living in Maryland. She brought it out for me. I'm not the boy I used to be. 1967 Charlie Pride, here, you, here y'all go. Come on. There we go. Beautiful song. There you go, Charlie Pride. 1967. When America was in turmoil. I'm coming home tomorrow. If you don't mind, would you meet me up? You know, I think about it. You probably had some racist folks that bought a uh, record thinking Charlie Pride sounds like a cool name. Let's buy that their record to see how he sounds. And listen to him. Man, I like that man. He can sing. And then they realized that he was black and they went. I'll bet that's what happened to some of those racist folks out there. And you know what? Good! Because it ain't about what they look like. Doesn't matter what race they are. All that matters is that the person's a good person, and if they're a singer, it matters that they sound good. You listen to music back in the day, let's be honest, there's some ugly-ass singers back in the way day of 50s, 60s, and 70s, okay? But oh, could they sing, oh, did they have talent. Nowadays, all you gotta do is look good, and you're getting a recording contract. Britney, St Britney Spears, um... Backstreet Boys, Justine Beaver, really? That little fruitcake. Ugh. 
in stink, 98 degrees. Christina Scancalera, although she can sing when she wants to. This man can sing, folks. Charlie Pride. This man can sing, and he's still getting it done today at the age of 76. You see, Mama, I've spent time in prison. This is what a country singer is all about right here, folks. For a crime that I'm too ashamed You know, speaking of uh, Black History Month, one of the and most famous black athletes of all tomorrow, time is celebrating a milestone birthday. Hammering Hank Aaron. That's right. 23 seasons in baseball. Braves and then Brewers. 755 lifetime home runs. The home run king. As long as you're being legal about it, not counting the steroids and uh, 762 to Bob Barry Bonds hit. Hank Aaron's the home run king to me, and he is 80 years old today and still going strong. Hank Aaron, an amazing man and a milestone birthday. Don Cherry, sportscaster. Don Cherry, 80 years old today as well. How about that? How about uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, very famous soccer player. He is 29 years old today. Hey, just like you, Trisha. How about that, huh? And then we got uh, Bobby Brown. That's right, Mr. Uh, Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. Go figure. He does all the drugs, gets her into drugs. She dies. He's still alive. Makes no damn sense to me. Bobby Brown, 45 years old today. Sarah Evans, mm -mm -mm. former baby today on Beer and Song of the Day, 43 years old today. Roger Staubach, legendary number 12 Dallas Cowboys quarterback during the 70s. And uh, a legend indeed, Hall of Famer, Roger Staubach, former hunk of the day on Beard Song of the Day, 72 years old today. Oh, former baby of the day. Wait, why am I showing her? Oops, jumping the gun there. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's look at a little Charlie Pride one more, y'all. All right. Well, I'm just uh, showing off something special there. Mm -mm. Uh, Jennifer Jason Lee, former baby of the day on Beard Song of the Day. We remember her fast times at Ridgemont High, showing her boobies at the age of 20 and me just <sighs> drooling, along with millions of other people. Don't lie, y'all were drooling. She's 52 years old today. How about Laura Lenny, actress? I got nudies of her, too. Uh, Laura Lenny, milestone birthday, 50 years old today. I don't know if I want any more nudies of her, but, mm, you know. Here's one that has aged incredibly well, though. She's 66 years old today. And I've seen some pictures of her. And I've seen movies of her in her 40s. And she's... Just looked incredible. She looks she looks good for her age today. Barbara Hershey. Barbara Hershey, 66 years old, still going strong. Hey, hey y'all go. Sarah Foster. Yeah, I'm another former baby of the day on Baron Song of the Day, 33 years old today. Uh, politician Adlai Stevenson, born this day, 1900, passed away, 1965. Comedian and phenomenal actor, the late, great Red Buttons, born on this day, 1919, passed away in 2006. Roberto Alomar. Future Hall of Fame, second baseman. He hit nearly 3,000 hits in his career. Roberto Alomar, 46 years old today. Unfortunately, most famous for spitting in the face of an umpire. And that's probably why he's not in the Hall of Fame yet. Well, hell of a ball player, though. I think he should be in the Hall of Fame anyway. My opinion. Honestly, in 1941, sadly passed away in 2010. Legendary uh, TV producer, Stephen J. Cannell. Um, and then, of course, good old NASCAR racing legend. I remember him when he was driving the number 11 Mountain Dew car. The legendary Daryl Waltrip. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Daryl Waltrip, 67 years old today, still going strong. Big fan of that guy. He was one of my favorites in NASCAR, no doubt about it. All right, y'all, NASCAR. Hey, if you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing, right, y'all? Right. Oh, hey, I got a new treat for you. Well, it's new to me. Not new to you, but new to me. Folks, this song's from 2007, and I had just recently heard about this lovely young lady. Folks, it is true. I didn't even know. I'll admit it. I did not know we had a black country singer. African-American country singer, Rissy Palmer. This woman is freaking gorgeous, isn't she? 
Mm, makes me want to yell that out. Sexual chocolate, y'all. Hey, remember that? Coming to America, Eddie Murphy. Sexual chocolate. The name of his band. Oh, man. This woman is fine. We can find hot, real hot, damn hot. Rissy Palmer. And oh, that girl can sing. She can sing, y'all. I got a song for all y'all. Here you go. Country Girl 2007. Rissy Palmer. I know. I'm from Massachusetts. I'm trying to, you know, sound like a country guy. Ha! That's a, yeah, that makes no damn sense. Ooh, I like the bluesy style to it. Digging it. Hey. I don't listen to a lot of chick country. Hell, I don't listen to a lot of country music, y'all, but. Alright, I would listen to this last night. I'm like, I like this song. I do. And look at that smile. Ain't her smile much finer than mine? Damn right. Mm hmm. Damn, this woman's hot. That's a beautiful woman with a beautiful voice. See, now there's. When you can sign a woman who is beautiful, but see, she can sing. It's a rare combination in modern music, y'all, you know. Rissy Palmer. Mmm, damn. Hey, on the day 1991, Howard Stern kisses New York football giant legend Leonard Marshall's ass over a bet the Stern lost claiming the Giants would lose the Super Bowl. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny. Honestly, in 1990, Notre Dame becomes the first team to sell its game to a major network, NBC. Yep. NBC, NBC shows every game by Notre Dame. Even if they suck. Honestly, in 1988, Andre the Giant beat Hulk Hogan in the first prime time wrestling match on TV in 30 years. I remember that. I remember when they had Saturday night's main event and then they called it um, WWF main event after they moved it from Saturday night. They had main event for a couple years. I'm a big wrestling fan. I'll admit it. I'm proud of it. I've been watching since 1983 when I was 10 years old. My father got my brother and I into wrestling. Love it. Still do. Honestly, in 1981, the largest jello was made. 9,246 gallons of watermelon flavored jello. Brisbane, Australia. Boy, I bet that made Bill Cosby proud. That's right. You know what I'm talking about, y'all. Honestly, in 1978, Fred Newman makes 88 consecutive basketball free throws. While blindfolded. Holy shit, I don't even think I can make 88 straight, let alone being blindfolded. Damn! Honest Day 1973, comic strip Hagger the Horrible debuted. Dick Walker, I mean Dick Brown rather. Hagger the Horrible. Um, Honest Day also 1973, Juan Corona sentenced to 25 consecutive life terms for 25 murders. While I think the sentence is fitting, why would you, why, what's the point in sentencing, sentencing somebody to 25 life terms? I mean, you know, maybe if they survive the electric chair 24 times, but I don't know. 25 life terms. And that just sounds stupid. I think it does. Just say, life without the possibility of parole. That's the one that sucks. <laughs> That's when you know you're screwed. Life without the possibility of parole. Hell, just give me the electric chair. I'd rather do that. Honestly, in 1972, Another Puff by Jerry Reed. Peaks at number 65. Why did I even leave that? I don't know. That was nothing important. Another Puff. <laughs> Maybe in Colorado and Washington, right? Honestly, in 1972, this is a big one, though. Bob Douglas, uh, first black basketball player elected to the Hall of Fame. I would have never guessed that. Not until 1972. Unbelievable. Then again, a lot of the early legends were still playing. That's why Oscar Robertson, um, Bill Russell was, had just retired a few years before, but wasn't Hall of Fame eligible yet. Um, Kareem, of course, was playing. Well, the Stilt Chamberlain didn't retire until 73. All right. Um, U.S. Airlines begins mandatory inspection of passengers and baggage on this day in 1972 as well. Well, there you go. Jeez. At one time, you didn't even get inspected to board an airplane. Imagine that. Now look at it. Now you got to get an entire screening process to get on board an aeroplane. <clears throat> on this day in 1969, 
A lot of people don't know this unless they're true football fans like me. Vince Lombardi becomes part owner, vice president, and general manager, and head coach of the Washington Redskins. And by the way, something that a lot of people don't know, Vince Lombardi coached them to their first winning record in 15 years. And sadly, he died shortly after that. Cancer, if I am not mistaken. It's too bad because uh, he was only 57 years old when he died. And uh, who knows what he would have done with the Redskins. Um, on a day in 1967, Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour be premieres on CBS, later went to ABC and NBC. On a day in 1955, WCDC TV Channel 19, Adams, Massachusetts, ABC affiliate begins. On a day in 1936, National Wildlife Federation forms. On a day in 1922, Happy Birthday Readers Digest, your first published. On a day in 1918, first U.S. pilot to down an enemy airplane, Stephen W. Thompson. Hey, who knows? Maybe somebody shot an airplane down before that and we don't know about it. You never know. On his day in 1901. Loop de loop centrifugal roller coaster. Patented by Ed Prescott. On his day in 1881, Phoenix, Arizona Incorporates. Happy birthday, Phoenix, Arizona. There you go. Hey, you're not as old as my hometown, Vinny Haven, Massachusetts, July 8, 1671. Take that, jackass. On day in 1870, first motion picture shown to a theater audience, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. How about that? First motion picture. Now, they say movies didn't come out until like 1892, but they did unique other methods prior to then. I mean, it was like flipping a book or something, you know? On day in 1861, like I'm saying, first moving picture peep show machine is patented by Samuel Goodale. And, uh... Cinematoscope is patented by Coleman Sellers in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, I'm beginning to think the home of the motion picture. Hmm. Honestly, in 1846, the Oregon Spectator is the first newspaper to be published on the West Coast. And now you know. Honestly, in 1825, Hannah Lord Montagu of New York creates the first detachable shirt collar. What's the purpose of that? Detachable shirt collar. Either wear a shirt that has a collar or don't. Jeez. <laughs> I don't even think those are around anymore. I don't know. Honestly, in 1817, the first U.S. gas company incorporated Baltimore, Maryland. It was coal gas for streetlights. How about that? Honestly, in 1644, the first U.S. livestock branding law is passed. And that was by Connecticut. Yay. Mark your territory on them barnyard friends of yours, y'all. On his day in 1631, Rhode Island founder Roger Williams arrives in Boston from jolly old England. There you go. The Puritans. And that Roger Williams was. And he founded Rhode Island five years later. Massachusetts didn't like him too much. I don't know why. Eh, you know, things were a little weird back in those days. A little different. But different is good. And I'll drink to that. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That's right, y'all. Empty as a brain cell is an average Yankee fan. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, time to make like a fetus to head out so everybody take care of wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink a drive my spirit drink. All you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drink a driving is dumb to being a Yankee fan. And what's dumb to that is root for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm scared, Tom Brady. Yeah, dream on, you freakazoid. Manning, or men slapping women, or animal abuse, or racism, or people that watch on pets, or fake friends, or anybody that supports, defends, or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Things like that are just plain stupid. <laughs> Squeeze me. And definitely deserve a big fat GFY. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Y'all come back now. Yeah.